so as we stated some of the oxo acids of sulfur are most important among those the wide important oxo acid of sulfur is sulfuric acid sulfuric acid having the molecular formula h2so4 the most important news regarding sulfuric acid is it is the most important most important industrial chemical industrial chemical and in the laboratory or in the industry sulfuric acid produced from contact method it is produced from contact method or contact process contact method or contact process this is the most important question long question during ipe examination preparation of sulfuric acid here in the manufacturing or at the time of manufacturing or in the laboratory or in the industry bulk quantity of sulfuric acid may results from contact process or contact method which includes in three steps the preparation of sulfuric acid from contact process includes in three steps in first step sulfur or or generation of or production of sulfur dioxide from generation or preparation of sulfur dioxide from sulfur or sulfide ores sulfide ores that means as we know in the preparation of sulfur dioxide sulfur when heated in the presence of oxygen converts into sulfur dioxide or when sulfide ores like fes2 when iron sulfide is treated with oxygen excess amount of oxygen it converts into sulfur dioxide via formation of fer uh, oxides ferric oxide like this either this or that process are used in first step of contact method for the generation of concentrated or sulfuric acid in the industry in second method catalytic oxidation of catalytic oxidation of sulfur dioxide to sulfur trioxide and the last step the formed sulfur trioxide from sulfur dioxide in the second step absorbed onto absorbed onto concentrated sulfuric acid to produce to produce oleum as product so what is the molecular formula just said by us for oleum h2s2o7 so having or the name of the oleum is also pyrosulfuric acid so let us have the schematic diagram which shows the preparation of sulfuric acid like this the diagram will helps us to understand how the preparation of sulfuric acid takes place in contact method this is
it consists of primary three chambers stated on the diagram like this So this will be an apparatus used in the preparation of concentrated or sulfuric acid in the contact method. Once again, this is an inlet. First, we are going to apply air. Inside of the first chamber, it is filled with sulfur. The portion or the first chamber fully filled with sulfur that means while we are going to heat the chamber it is sulfur now the sulfur will get reacted with oxygen present in the air and converted into sulfur dioxide plus oxygen or it, it can convert it into sulfur dioxide only now the produced sulfur dioxide by reacting with air and sulfur may have impurities that is the reason why it is called as impure sulfur dioxide now to eliminate the impurities present in sulfur dioxide the resulting sulfur dioxide is went through filter it is called as filter this filter is useful filter is useful to eliminate or useful to precipitate if any solid impurities present in the resulting sulfur dioxide now the filtered sulfur dioxide will enters into this chamber we can call it as or shown like this so through which we are using or we are applying water from this side so by using water it can eliminate any water soluble impurities present with formed sulfur dioxide and from where it escapes waste water so once again the filtered sulfur dioxide slowly enters into this chamber so while it is going to enter into the chamber it is going to treat it with water fresh water so when it reacted with water if any water soluble impurities present with sulfur dioxide they may be eliminated as waste water now somewhat pure sulfur dioxide will enters here like this sulfur dioxide now this sulfur dioxide is reacted with h2so4 vapors or pumping of h2so4 it's like sprinklers so it is applied here and converts into sulfur dioxide plus oxygen now the resulting mixture slowly enters into gelatinated hydroxide that is ferric oxide actually what is the purpose of this filter here is it is useful to eliminate arsenic arsenic impurities that mean that means the resulting sulfur dioxide from these three chambers may have 
arsenic as impurity. To eliminate arsenic impurities, we have to use a filter, gelatinated hydroxide, which can stick the arsenic molecules or arsenic species, and it is consists of ferric oxide. And here it is preheater. Preheater. So from where sulfur dioxide plus oxygen will enters into this chamber and while it is going to enter into the chamber there is a formation of sulfur trioxide takes place and this chamber is filled with V2O5 what is this vanadium 5 oxide we can call it as catalytic chamber catalytic chamber because as we stated just now in the second step up to here only first step that is sulfur converted into sulfur uh, sulfur by reacting with oxygen converted into sulfur dioxide but to eliminate the impurities present with sulfur dioxide we are using this additional treatment to sulfur dioxide after this arsenic impurities will be eliminated out followed by preheater and in the preheater after the preheater the sulfur dioxide may react with oxygen SO2 plus O2 in the presence of catalyst like vanadium 5 oxide. So in the presence of this catalyst sulfur dioxide converts into sulfur trioxide enters here this is enters from catalytic chamber to final chamber it is made up of glass. Pyrex glass or borosilicate glass. So from here we are using concentrated sulfuric acid. So what will be the expected one? In the presence of concentrated sulfuric acid H2SO4, it is going to react with sulfur trioxide from the previous chamber and finally produces H2S2O7, we can call it as oleum. So that oleum will be collected through this channel. So we can collect oleum from here. Now, this oleum by reacting with when H2S2O7 reacted with water, it is converted into H2SO4. So, this is what the preparation of concentrated sulfuric acid.